Hi, everybody. Listen, we're back here at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center to learn more about breast cancers and what to do if you're told that you have possibly breast cancer. Well, Dr. Uh, Takabi is with us. He is the chief of breast surgery and breast program leader here. Doctor, thank you for spending some time with us. Thank you for having me today. Doctor, usually a woman is told, okay, we, we, ha we see a suspicious lump. Next thing we want to do is take a biopsy. And then you look at the cells. How, are the, how is the type of cancer determined from that? Yes, so uh, breast cancers are not created equal. Apparently, uh, the, uh, you, you see a cancer uh, as a lump in the breast, but they have multiple subtypes I see. that we uh, discovered about 20 years ago. So now you're looking for subtypes rather than just the type of the cell, and that's going to help determine what your treatment will be. Exactly. So uh, the subtypes tells us the characteristic mm -hmm. of the uh, cancer, and depending upon the subtypes, the treatment can differ. Now, are there a lot of different subtypes? Absolutely. So there's a major three types. One uh, is the estrogen receptor positives that actually uh, eat and grow using the female hormone. Mm -hmm. So for those cancers, we often use the medicine to block the female hormone. Another type of cancer is called HER2 overexpressive. So the, for that, we block that signaling. Third is called triple negative, and those cancers respond better for chemotherapies. I see, so this is information you can give a woman almost right away after the pathology? Usually, yes. Mm -hmm. but Go ahead. But uh, currently, the uh, treatment of breast cancer is not only medicine. It, it involves surgical removal, mm -hmm. maybe radiation, and chemother or, uh, medical therapy uh, to uh, decrease the possibility of it coming back. It seems like the um, therapies are more targeted once you know what the subtype of the cancer is. Absolutely. Yeah. That's our current approach. And what we really want women to do is to come here and get their mammogram because we have such great expert doctors who are here ready to read them. Yes, that is very important because if you don't catch them, we can't treat them. Mm -hmm. And doctor, how often should people be coming in for those mammograms? Uh, annually, annually, after you hit 40 years old. But I, I have heard from other doctors that if you suspect something has changed within that one year, come on in and let the pros look at it. Absolutely. Yeah. Change is what matters. Mm -hmm. Doctor, once a woman gets this information, what kind of follow-up questions should she be asking her doctor? Well, first, uh, you should see the specialist mm -hmm. and uh, come up with a plan. Do you need the surgery first or the medicine first? Mm -hmm. So those are the discussions that the patient should have. Doctor, we want to thank you so much. They're, all the experts are here for you, everyone. When it comes to breast cancer, we are here to educate you and to help you with this. But by all means, give this place a call or log on today if you have more information, if you would like more information about getting that mammogram.